Alonzo, when did you know or have a pretty good idea that LeBron James would be your teammate? Now, this is a guy who watched your summer league game and also someone who talked to you last season. Did you have an inkling then that this could happen? Um, I definitely think we always had a chance, just the fact that we're in L.A., you know, and um, it also helps that we have magic upstairs. So, you know, um, just very blessed to have him come to this team. I would say probably mid midway through the season, you know, it started looking real, and I'm happy it came true. Uh, is he someone you admired growing up? I'm sure he was one of your favorite players, and what's it like to all of a sudden play next to someone you admired so much? Yeah, everybody knows. Everybody asked me that question, and he's my favorite player growing up. So um, it's kind of crazy, you know, that we're on the same team now, but, um, you know, my teammates, so he's going to help me, I'm going to help him, and we're going to do what we can to get the wins. Now, he's coming to a team with a young core, uh, do you, does this young core have to adjust to him? Is there some adjustments that have to be made to have with him on the court? Uh, there's always going to be adjustments, especially when you add the best player. But uh, I think as long as we, you know, uh, come in practice, play hard, and build a chemistry, we'll be okay. But uh, I like the, you know, a mix we have of young guys and old guys this year. Now, you, this summer you uh, had some surgery done on your knee. You won't participate in any five-on-five -five hard drills. What can you tell us about your condition? Uh, conditioning needs to get back up. Obviously, I haven't been able to run. I uh, just got cleared medically to do things now. So I'm um, just progressively work to finally get to five on five and back on the court. Uh, the other thing you really wanted to address this summer was your jump shot. Uh, can you just tell us about that process, when it started, what did you really want to accomplish, and where is it at right now? Uh, my jump shot, to me, I really haven't really changed it. It looks a little different because I think I'm stronger now, so it's getting up to the rim a lot easier, a lot smoother. So that's helping a lot. But I'm um, just trying to focus on my balance and then hold my follow-through. That's the two main things for sure. Is that an easy thing to do, to tinker, even the slightest with a jump shot? Um, You just got to keep it consistent. You know, shooting, you know, it's the same motion over and over again. So, you know, me shooting, coming up, I wasn't really holding my hand up that much. I was kind of just letting it go. So it definitely got to... Play mind, you know, um, games with your mind to keep doing it over and over again. Do you feel you have to be a three-point shooter in this league? Uh, is it a, uh, a, you know, a prerequisite now? Uh, well, I feel I can shoot, so I mean, I don't think it's a problem. But yeah, definitely, you know, the way the game's going, a lot of three-pointers are being taken. Especially if we have a guy like LeBron on your team, um, it's going to be slashing in there. You know, it's going to be creating open shots for you. Now, speaking of LeBron and being on the court with him, he's someone who has controlled the ball a lot during his career. Um, I would, I would imagine that's a good thing, to be on the floor with someone like that who can also look and spot the open man. Would you agree? Definitely. Um, you know, whether I get the rebound and push it or he gets it, you know, uh, we can always get on the break faster than a lot of teams. So um, we have a lot of guys on the team that can push the ball. The rest of the guys got to run the lane, and then uh, we should thrive in transition. When you're on the court together, does that mean you'll play more off the ball, and are you okay with that? I think, whoever, like I said, whoever it gets is going to go. And mm -hmm. um, kind of this is how I kind of play at UCLA. Uh, when we had multiple point guards on the team. So, you know, I have no problem running the wing. You know, as long as we get out and run, everything should work out. Speaking of the jump shot, if it gets to the point where you're comfortable with it uh, this season, uh, are there going to be some contests with Kyle Kuzma? You know, is it going to be something uh, We and Kuz, we always together. So there's going right. to be some, type, some sort of con uh, contest somewhere, you know, whether it's on the court or off the court. We're always with each other. So definitely, you know, have compare spit, competitive or, spirit. Or are you going to throw down the gauntlet now and say you're going to win all of the three-point shot contests? I'm always taking myself over oh, yeah. Kuz any, any day of the week, for sure. Uh, tell us about your relationship with Rondo so far. I know it hasn't been long, but you've had a chance to talk with him, probably sit and watch film, just discuss basketball. What's that been like? Yeah, he's one of the smartest dudes I ever, you know, talked to. You can definitely tell. You can even see it um, when they're playing five on five in here, just watching him. He's talking the whole time. And um, that's big for me because I need to, you know, work on my vocal leadership. So he could definitely help me with that. And then, um, like you said, it's only been a short period of time, but we watch film and stuff and he, he breaks down every move. And then um, it's truly amazing to see. What's the best piece of advice he's given you so far? Well, Rondo, I don't think it's one thing. You know, um, the way he teaches, he teaches so much that you can pick up so much things. And uh, like I said, the film session we watched, that's probably one of the best film sessions I ever had. Really? Was it a specific game you watched? It was or? a game that um, we played them at New Orleans. Oh, okay. So he was breaking it down, everything, you know, what I could have did, what I should have did, and um, what he was doing. And um, it was it was crazy. Uh, is he someone you watched when you were younger in high school and college? I mean, because your games are somewhat similar. I mean, you yeah. you rebound, you know, you pass the ball, you you know, you, you thrive in the open floor. Tell yeah, us about we have that. a very similar game, and uh, I watched him a ton when he played for Boston. Uh, they were very fun to watch. 
uh, especially when they were playing the Lakers and, you know, when they were going up against Miami. So, um, yeah, it was crazy that we're on the same team now, too. You know, I kind of took some things from him, and, um, you know, now I get to work with him every day. Now, I'm sure this is a collaboration, but is it a competition, too? Um, I mean, everybody likes to compete in here, so it's always going to be a competition. But at the end of the day, we're on the same team. We all had the same goal, so that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Speaking of this team this year, uh, with all the new faces coming in, sometimes that's an adjustment, at least early. Uh, but what are your expectations for the year? Uh, like I said, that's what practice is for. You know, um, obviously there's going to be adjustments just because we have so many new people on the team. And, um, you know, the young guys are getting better and learning more. So obviously there's going to be adjustments. But um, like I said, we just got to stick together, listen to our coaches, and uh, we should be fine. Will a lot depend on how the young guys have improved, like you, Kuzma? Uh, for sure. Brandon. You know, we're a big part of this team. So, you know, mm -hmm. we're not improving. The team's not going to be improving. So we got to take that upon ourselves to get better and help the team out. 35 wins last year. Uh, would it be unrealistic to say that you guys will be firmly in playoff position, or are you just going to take that one step at a time? Uh, no, we definitely expect to make the playoffs, mm -hmm. without a doubt. Okay.